Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another J. Robinson Art Peel Off Paint and Peel Project. Today, we're going to be painting something very, very easy, very simple, and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun doing it. So let's get ready to push around a few colors and be creative. Before we get started, let's just take a look at all the equipment that we have laid out. Off camera, I have a cup of water. We provided you with all the paint and brushes that you're going to need for the project. The paints consist of black, white, red, purple. We also give you a half palette sheet that you should use on the glossy side. We provide you with a spatula to help remove the peel off. We also give you the following brushes. A foam brush to help paint your background. A flat brush in case you're more comfortable with that. And a pointed brush to help you create uh, the letters as well as paint the colors around your balloons which you're going to see in one moment. I'm going to put these off to the side. I happen to have my own beat up little brushes that I like to use and if you have your own brushes please feel free to, to use them. I mean I use them for comfort. The other brushes we provide are just as good. We also provide you with a plastic apron, a paper towel, and an 8x10 canvas. Take a look at the project today. This is the project. Very simple, very lovely, could represent Valentine's, could represent just your emotions, your feelings. So you're not limited to just a Valentine love. It could be love throughout the year, 365 days. So rather simple, rather basic painting, but the process and the way in which we're gonna paint it is what I'm gonna be teaching you today. So what we have for you here is your eight by 10 canvas that has your peels affixed. The letters are opened already, so you don't have to worry about that. And what we're gonna do may sound strange, but I need you to follow me. You can use the foam brush that we provided you or the flat brush, and you're gonna be taking black and literally painting the entire canvas black. Paint over the peel, paint over the letters, don't worry. What you'll end up with is something that looks like this. And it's from here that you and I are going to begin our painting process. Now, the most important thing that I want to point out before I peel off my images is once you've painted your canvas, your lettering will be black. We'll change that later. You just got to stay with me. I want to focus with you on how to paint all the individual heart-shaped balloons, the string, and then the letters. So without having you to wait and watch me, I've already painted my entire canvas black to include the letters, which is what your canvas should look like. Once you've painted black, I strongly suggest you let it dry. Take about five minutes, listen to some music, go have some coffee, drink some tea, call and talk to a friend, or just hang out and just watch paint dry. I wouldn't suggest that, but it only takes about two or three maybe five minutes because acrylic paint dries rather quickly. So without further ado, now we're going to begin the actual process of painting. Now remember, you've already painted your canvas black. You've already allowed your canvas to dry. Now you want to grab the spatula somewhere around here. And we're going to be using any one of these corners just to simply dig under anywhere that we can find. It's just to start getting it to come up like so. And what we're going to do is just peel off the shape. There. So there's our peel. And we're just going to move this off to the side. Now that we have our peel off, now we're going to begin colorizing. And what I'd like to do is I'm just going to grab this flat brush here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and, and just look at the canvas for what it is. And we're going to make a pink. Let me move these tubes of paint out of the way. This is the only color we're actually going to mix. And to make that color, you're just going to take some pink, I mean some white, take a tiny bit of red and just stir them together. And voila, you have yourself a pink. It's a beautiful pink. You take that pink and you pretend that this heart shape is here. So let's make this shape like that. And that'll help separate those two. And then the rest of this, we're just going to paint pink. And again, the idea today is just to show you the process. 
you don't have to worry about anything because your canvas is going to come up perfectly, perfectly okay. And all I'm doing is I'm taking this flat little skinny brush and I'm painting everything inside this first balloon paint. By making this little arc, it's for the next balloon because it kind of overlaps. So let's just grab some more color. Let's just keep going. Now you can do as I do, which is kind of block around things just to get the, the color where you want it. And then you know where not to go because I want to leave this letter alone. I don't want to touch that letter. Let me just pick, make a little bit more pink, just a little bit more white. And I'm just going to continue to fill in this first, we're going to call it a heart balloon shape. We're just going to fill it in with this pink. Now, of course, you're not limited to use the colors that I do. You can make your first balloon any color that you want. It's the process that will remain the same. It's the fact that you have to put in for that overlap. It's the fact that you still have to paint the entire balloon shape around the letters. So that's really what's key here. Not so much the coloration. You choose the way you want to colorize your shape. And just continue. And ideally is what we're after today. We're after the instruction on how to. You can take your time and make it as perfect as you want it to be. I'm just going to come in here and just apply this color just to get this in here. And then we're going to move on to the next color. Now the choices that I made for my colors is only because I wanted them to be kind of light and pastelish. You want yours to be more loving, you can paint the entire balloons red. I wouldn't suggest that, but you again can do whatever you do want to do. Whatever your choice is. Okay, I'm just going to pick up this pointed brush because I see some very fine areas. So I'm just going to twirl this into here so that I can have a little bit more control and not go too far over the line. There. Let's get rid of all of the white little spots. See? Just making the brushes work for me. This brush was good. But now this pointed brush just helps me get into a little bit more detail. Go right up around the top here. And we got time because this is really a simple, easy painting. Shouldn't take that long to get to the end. There. Good enough. Clean off this brush. Ring the bell. Wipe it on a paper towel. Clean off my flat brush. And I'm going to get ready for the next color. So before I do this balloon, I think I want to do this one first. Now you again can make the choice of doing your own. You could do both of these, then the back ones, but I'm going to do it in this manner. I'm going to take some purple, take a little bit of white. I'm not mixing the color as much as I'm lightening the color. Because again, I want it to be kind of a light pastelish color so I want my purple to be rather light so here the next thing I'm going to do is make the arc that's going to represent this balloon so I take the color I come right along the outside here and I'll just make a little shape there see what I did by faking out the shape now I have my balloon shapes on both sides and I'm going to continue to do exactly what we did with the pink which is just to go inside and paint everything purple now. A nice bright purple for me. Again, if you prefer a darker purple, I strongly suggest you just leave it with no white and just go for it. There. Just gonna take this color and I'm gonna bring in a little skinny brush a little bit earlier than last time just so we can help expedite but I'm just gonna block in as much as I can. Now, we also have another balloon that's here. So let's do that same fake out. Let's just take the color, just going on the outside and say,
there. There's the shape for this balloon. So now we have it all in. Oh, we're ready now. Now we're just going to have some fun. As I always say, and push around a few colors and be creative. Okay, I'm just going to come down to the interior here, get as much as I can. Go inside the V, being very careful. Okay, I'm going to clean off this brush. Wipe it on a paper towel, leave it ready for the next color. Grab my little pointed brush. Grab a little bit more of this color. And then just go in and detail around the little areas that are white. Some white shows through, it's really okay. I'm, I'm not trying to be perfect because it's really more important that you understand the process than aiming for total perfection. There you go. But if you want to be neat, then just take your time, spend more time with it, and it'll all work out for you, I guarantee it. Okay, it's good enough. So now I have my purple, I have my pink. Clean off my brush. Now, inside this particular circle is another piece of peel-off. We didn't take it off in the beginning because I wanted you to focus on the first part. Now we're going to focus on the circle because we need to remove that in order to make our O shape. See? So now we have everything removed. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and we're going to paint these two red. I'm just going to go with straight red. Just going to grab some red. And then I'm going to start over here. And just like the pink and just like the purple, I'm just going to fill in everything. See? I'll fill that circle in last just in case my finger slides over that way while I'm painting the fill in. I'll just leave it open for right now. It's like a little artist trick. There you go. See, just cover up everything and then just reshape to the best of your ability that heart shape that we faked out. Look at that. How cool is that? And now we're just going to go around the O. Told you this was easy. And it's fun. It's beautiful. It's going to look so nice when you hang it up on your door, on your wall. Give it to a friend. Makes a great Valentine gift for anyone because what you're giving is love. And love is good for everyone. I don't know of anyone who doesn't want a little love in their life. So once you paint this, you can give it to someone special, someone sad to help brighten them up, someone who's going through something, or someone you just care about. So many reasons to give love. Today, we could use a lot of love and understanding. Here we go. Let's just keep going. Block it in. Now, I'm going to leave everything and go do the other one and then come back and tighten up both of these with the little skinny brush where, where it might be needed. So for right now, I'm just going to very rapidly fill in my O. See? And now I'm going to go over here. Now, for over here, I'm going to actually start in my E. See? I'm going to start inside like that. Because this is more boxy. So once I block this in, painting around it should be a lot easier. So I'm just going to block this E in like that. And what I mean by block in is just go right around it like that. And now I'll start on my edges, straighten it out, that heart shape. See how you get a second chance at, at straightening out that shape a little bit better. You could even go a third or fourth, but I don't think it's needed. It's sometimes good just to get in there, get out, and leave it alone. Come back later and touch it up as needed. But for right now, this is looking perfect, see? And the cool thing is, like I told you before, the acrylic paint, it dries rather quickly. So what will end up happening is, 
all of these balloons will dry. So by the time we finish with our string here and go back in to do the whites, they should be dry enough that it wouldn't touch. But we're going to make sure of that by allowing it to dry for a couple of minutes before we proceed forward. Because we want to put in our string that's holding, uh, letting the balloons fly. And then we also want to paint our letters white. Not sure which I'm going to do first. I think I'll probably paint the letters white first. Just to introduce you to how easy that is. There. So now we have our pink, our red, our purple, and our second red balloon. Don't worry. It's going to start looking much better in a second. Clean off my brush. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry for a couple of minutes. Come back and finish up our project. Okay, we actually gave that a couple of minutes to let it set up and dry. And as promised, let me show you how you would go around and detail both the reds that we just did. I'm just going to take the brush, pointed brush. I'm going to go in and, and just look for any of those little spots that, that, are, that are shining through, that you can see the white that's really bothering you or that you just don't want to have in your painting. And just, just simply paint right over them. Just take your time. Go to the edge. And you could do this around the entire painting. Didn't mean to go over there, but since I did, it's okay. I'm just gonna touch up a few little areas just to kind of give you the idea. So you just take the brush, as promised, and just go right over those little spots that you see. Okay, that's good enough. I just wanted to give you kind of an idea. Just adjust this a little bit, okay? So now we're going to go into the lettering. Now for the lettering, you could use this little pointed brush. You could use the flat brush. I'm going to use this brush right here. And I'm just going to go right into some white. Now I may need to do this a couple of times, but just to show you what I mean. Now it's black right now. Take the brush and just very carefully go right inside. I'll probably use a detail brush to help detail some things. And I'm just going to bring the color down. And turn that black letter into a white letter. See? It's the beauty of acrylics. It's the beauty of art. And I'm just going to be doing this to every letter. I'm just going to carefully come down and paint every one of these letters white. This is where you just want to concentrate, take your time, do one letter at a time, do one little area at a time. The fact that the paint is dry, you could actually you could actually go over it if you needed to, you know, just to make your lines more distinct. And the white will just show right up, no problem. See? Just smooth it out. Nice and smooth. You could actually paint over this a couple of times if you desire. I think once is good enough. And you have the ability to take your canvas and spin it and flip it. Because of the video, I have to kind of leave it exactly like it is for the video. But if it wasn't for the video, I would be flipping this upside down so that I can continue with this one. Have a little bit easier control of it. But it's okay. It's okay. The challenge for me is there. Now, let's go to the other letter. And um, not a lot to say here other than just take your time. You know, you don't have to rush this. You don't have to, you know, try to be fast. You just, you want to be accurate. You know, you want to try to make it as neat and clean as you can. And no matter what happens, you have the groundwork to put letters in, so you will end up with some letters. So that's really what's key. You don't want to go over too much of your reds, especially the little circle part here. But you want to go over enough to cover the black. Like that. See? There. Just keep 
loading the brush as needed, smoothing it out as you can, paint over it again if you have to. Try to make it as, as neat as you can for yourself. Whatever your eyes tell you is, is neatness. We're almost done. I have a lot of fun um, sharing and showing you all of these different videos and ways in which you can paint. And then you can take these techniques and you can do a whole lot of different things with them. You know, once you once you have the confidence level, which is what I hope Peel Off helps give you, is the confidence of, of just using your own talents and your own ideas. Because with Peel Off, you're not limited to what we show you. You're, you're, you have a blocking agent that helps you to be as creative as you want to be. You can make all these letters all kind of different colors. You can make the hearts all kind of different colors. I just chose these colors for today. I chose that black background for today. Just to make it simple. To make it easy. But you can choose whatever you want. See, there's my V. Now I'm going to go in here and do my E. Then we'll put in some strings to help hold the balloons in, in flight, like they've been released. <laughs> and then we'll just add a little decoration to each of the balloon shapes. And our painting, for all intent of purpose, will be done. See? So like I told you, you can go right over some of the red, you can go over some of the purple, you can go over some of the pink, whatever's going to help you get your letters in. And there. Just finish off our E. I don't think I need to go in with the pointed brush. It's good enough for me. There. So now we have our love. Clean off my brush. Ring the bell. Here I'm going to dip the brush into water. I'm just going to twirl it on the paper towel. I'm going to twirl right into some of this white. And maybe on this angle there's a little bit of an arc. Like so. And then maybe there's a little bit of an arc. Like so. And on the purple, there's one right there, and on the other red, this is just a little, just a little highlight. Now we're gonna add the string. For the string, I like to go to the bottom right here and just put two little lines. I'm gonna do it on all of them first, just so you can see them. Just gonna put two little lines that represent the string being wrapped around. Then I'm gonna pretend that I'm coming behind the balloon here. And maybe there's a little bit of a wiggle that just kind of goes like that. I'm not going to go all the way off the canvas. I'm going to barely come to the bottom. Maybe there's another one that comes from behind over here that just swirls like that. Then maybe over here I'll go right in the middle and just do some little wiggly motion like that. And on this side over here, just going to come, make a little something that goes like that. And there's my completed painting. There's my love for you. There's the idea. You can have some fun pushing it around and just being creative. And remember, you could always go back over these whites. You can go back over the pinks, the reds, before you do the highlights and details. That's up to you. I just wanted to give you an idea of just how fun, just how quick, just how easy it is to create love so if you like this video please give us a like subscribe to our youtube channel so you can get notifications on all the new videos that are coming out and of course go to peeloff.com to buy yourself any and all of our kits that we have available and just have fun 
pushing around a few colors and being creative. This is just a some part of the brush. So again, thank you all for painting with us. I hope you had fun. Until next time, bye-bye.